We took a holistic look at this from a process role technology perspective, because at the same time, remember, we're trying to implement a, a workflow technology solution that sits across all these 30 or so different systems that these middle office colleagues would use, would have to use. Um, so we wanted to prove out the new technology. We're implementing PEGA, a new workflow technology, at the same time as kind of making some of these changes. And then um, we wanted to understand, you know, the role itself. What are the responsibilities that make sense to have in this middle office team? And then from a process perspective, are there any handoffs that we can eliminate? Is there anything that we can do to make that process more efficient? And so that was a huge change management um, challenge, to say the least. We had about 500 of the, uh, the different rep roles that I just mentioned that we wanted to bring together into a middle office. And we wanted to do it just like that, right? But it doesn't happen overnight. It's a cultural change. Um, many of these folks felt that the role was gonna become more administrative, you know, they're gonna be centralized, then they're gonna be outsourced to India, and you know, the value that they have in working with clients and, and insurance companies kind of goes away. So we had to, um, and I think one of the other sessions, someone showed the, the Y curve. We had to try to navigate along this path here, right? So we wanted them to understand why and the reasoning for, for establishing a middle office, and then really to have a positive perception so that they're committed to helping the company go through this change, rather than just you know neg having a negative perception about it and just doing it because they were told to by their boss. And so, um, actually, we really take a solid look at this Y curve in all of our projects and all of our major changes, even technology programs, any project that we have now. And, and we um, send out surveys to the group that's being impacted by the change along each of these dimensions. So very early on in a project, um, we may test for awareness of the change and do they understand why we're embarking on this particular initiative. And then after we're in deployment, for example, we'll test on engagement and it does the change actually work. And the feedback that you get from surveying colleagues along the way of a project is incredible and it truly does help um, any change initiative that you have. So I would strongly encourage that.